couple of the things uh, that I want to go over today about uh, signs for reoperation. Uh, these are very important to understand because this will lead us uh, down a pathway where you need to be evaluated. The first thing that I want to talk about is bleeding. Bleeding is a very normal risk after breast surgery, and especially when we're talking about having a, a bleed associated with a breast implant, uh, while it's not common, it is the most common thing that can happen. Give us a call at 512-288-8200 if you're experiencing any of the following. Infection, nausea, constipation, hives or itching, excessive pain, bleeding, or swelling, or any other incisional questions or healing problems. Sometimes you might notice a little bit of bruising on the side of the breast. This usually occurs because I will inject the breast with numbing medicine at the very beginning of the procedure once you're safely asleep. It doesn't mean that something is wrong or that you uh, are having a bleed inside the breast. Usually it's just simply a small bruise from the injection of the numbing medicine. Any time a patient has a breast implant, they run the risk of having capsular contracture. Capsular contracture is where scar tissue forms around the implant, which is a very normal process, but this time the scar tissue actually squeezes the implant, causing the breast to be firm or hard. Oftentimes the breast might sit a little bit higher in the chest, and if this were to happen, we would diagnose this clinically on examination. With regards to treatment for this, it does mean going back to surgery. And typically, that is a little bit more of an involved procedure because I need to treat the scar capsule and remove the breast implant temporarily. At the same time, when this work is performed, I'm also going to place a new breast implant, as well as a special product inside the breast that prevents the recurrence of a capsule from forming in its entirety. On your post-operative examinations, it's important to understand that we're really uh, looking for key things. And this is very important to me and to you as a patient. I'm always assessing the breast for any lumps or bumps of the breast, looking for nipple discharge or other signs that something else might be going on. I'm assessing the breast for softness and making sure you don't have caps or contracture or a firm scar tissue around the breast implant. They may be leading to a less than soft result. Also, I'll be assessing a few key measurements just to make sure that we're very happy with the way the result is healing over time. All of our patients are patients for life, and that means that we'll be following you for many years to come. And photography is a very important part of this follow-up process. The most common reason for breast revision in my practice is that a patient's desired results have changed, or the breast has changed due to the normal course of breast tissue over time, being exposed to hormones or pregnancy or even menopause, which can change the composition of the breast and the quality of the skin. We're very excited that you're having the procedure that we've outlined for you. And while it might seem overwhelming or daunting that we've given you so many instructions today, these instructions are meant to make sure that you have a safe experience. I want you to understand that our core values start with safety, followed by excellence, lifetime partnerships, and being responsive to your needs. 